On the first scramble, I got a 731, and my keep shape was muffin right fist. And so to trace, I held orange in front, and uh, I traced odd. And the way the odd algorithm would work was pretty much I'd just set it up into shield fist like so, and then just solve, uh, turn it into pawn pawn into the back like this. Next, I had a pretty nice two slice CO, which I can solve just like so. And this left me with a really easy EO case which I can just solve with four slices like this. And so this isn't the best case for PBL whatsoever as it's an R perm on top and like a U perm on bottom. And so I just did regular CPEP, uh, which is definitely not the best thing to do, but that's what I ended up doing. So I just did a J perm on top. And then I did my, uh, this is the bad U perms. And so I just did that alg. And so this was 26 slices, which was 3.56 slices per second. So, it wasn't the most efficient solution, but that was made up. That was made up for with good turning. So, pretty good solve. On the second solve, I got a 565, and so I had right pawn and shield for my cube shape. And so the way I would do this alg is um, I got even for this case. And so usually if the case were odd, then I just solve scalp kite normally like so, and just solve scalp kite like that. Uh, but because I got even instead, I had to do sort of a corner swap before doing scalp kite. So that's what I did. Then I got a CO scape, which is pretty lucky, and I also was left with a really easy EO case here. And then here, um, I noticed that I have Adj in the back. And so here, um, I forgot what, I think this is P perm. I don't really know the name actually, but I know I can force either adjacent or opposite depending on how I align it. And so because I have adjacent here, um, adjacent adjacent is much better than opposite adjacent. So I'm gonna leave this aligned um, like so. And then this will just leave me with a really nice Adj Adj. And so that was a 565 with 20 slices meaning it was 3.54 slices per second, which is also pretty nice turning, so I'm happy with that solve. So on the third solve, I got a 985, which I am quite disappointed about. Uh, so first of all, uh, in cube shape, I got odd. And so the way the odd act would, would work is pretty much I just bring up this L here and solve scalp kite like so. Next, I was left with a pretty easy two slice CO. So I just solve it like so. And now I have a one one for EO, which I'll just solve with a simple L like this. And so here is where it gets a little bit complicated because um, there are a lot of options as to what EP you can force here. So first of all, I just brought both of the headlights in the back as I'm going to do JJ no matter what. And so pretty much here, the two, only two good options here are either to force opposite and O or adjacent and W. And so because the bar wasn't flipped, I wanted to force opposite O. Um, because like if you want if the bar were flipped opposite O would be kind of awkward to do with the, to do with the bar flip and so to force opposite O what I'd have to do is simply leave everything aligned and just do JJ like this and so this left me with a really easy O op like that but I ended up not doing that because I was just hesitating really badly and I sort of panicked so I ended up misaligning just this layer and so that left me with W O which is a lot worse. But that's what I ended up going with, and then I did my regular alg here, like so, and it was really lucky, and so I ended up 
getting a 985 on a 27 slice solution, which was 274 slices per second, which is definitely not what I was hoping for, but it's all right. On the first solve, I got a 661, and my keep shape was pawn fist, and I traced even. And it's a really nice alg, because all I have to do is just one slice into shield square. And next, what I should have done um, from here was solved OBL by misaligning the bottom layer and solving like this. And this would have skipped EO entirely. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do that. I was just once again, I was kind of rushing myself, so I didn't really pay attention to what I could have done better. But what I ended up doing was misaligning the top layer instead and doing this. And so from here, I had to do an EO alg. Uh, from here, I have an F perm on top and J perm on bottom. I don't know any good algs for this, so all I had, all I did here was simply JJ and then U perm, canceling into the bar flip like that. And so this was a 23 slice solution, uh, which could have been a lot less. And it was a 661, meaning it was 3.48 slices per second, which is once again, pretty nice turning. So although I could have been more efficient, it was a pretty nice solve, so nice. So on the last solve, I got a 540. Uh, my cube shape was 411 and L, and so I traced even. And for even alg, for the even alg, I would simply just solve scalp kite into the back like this. Then that left me with a one slice CO, which I solved like so. Then I had um, I L, I guess, for my EO, which I solved like this. And from here, I realized that I had PJ as just like a pure two corner swap. And assuming that I did CSP correctly, I shouldn't have parity on the solve, meaning that if I have parity on the top, then I should have parity on the bottom as well. And so because I saw that there were no bars here, and there was a bar here, there should be a bar back here, meaning that if I do an end perm, um, I should get adjacent adjacent. And so what I did, I just brought the headlights to the left. I don't know why I misaligned this. That was just kind of a habit, I guess. There wasn't a specific reasoning behind it. But I just did JN. And... Luckily enough, I did indeed get adjacent adjacent, which I just solved like so, and then did a D2 to finish it off. And so that was a 540 with 20 slices, meaning it was 3.7 slices per second. So once again, really nice turning. This solve was near perfect. There was really not a flaw in it, I guess. There might have been like a lockup here and there, but other than that, it was a really good solve. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the second episode of Daily Sub 7s. Uh, today I got a 652 average, which I'm really happy with, sub world record I think, which is also really cool. Um, please give any feedback that you have for me in the description, I'll try to make these as like coherent and just good as I can. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.